Royal Rift, Prince Harry and William in shock split over Diana Fund. Prince Harry and Prince William have drifted further apart as they continue to establish their respective charitable bodies. The revenue of the fund created in honor of their late mother Princess Diana will be divided between their charities. The Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fund was set up in 1997 following her tragic death. Since 2013 the fund has been paid into the Royal Foundation. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge is the primary philanthropic and charitable instrument. However, the foundation was a tool used by Prince William, Kate Middleton, Prince Harry, and Meghan Markle, and not just the Cambridges. Currently, the two couples are busy with their own charitable efforts, with the Sussexes working on Arch Ewell, and William and Kate taking care of the Royal Foundation. The Diana Fund has not been actively raising funds for many years but obtains funds from legacies and other contributions. Last year, the Royal Foundation collected around £21,500 from the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fund, according to its annual report. Prince Harry does not have a charitable body in the UK anymore since the dissolution of Sussex Royal. Sussex Royal had been conceived as his and Meghan's future philanthropic instrument. However, the royal couple renounced to the body when they stepped back from their official royal roles at the beginning of the year. The couple are now working towards building their new charitable organization, Arch UL. Prince Harry has asked his share from the year to go towards his HIV-AIDS charity sent to Ball. The charity, which he founded with his friend Prince Ciso of Lesotho. Africa was motivated by Princess Diana's efforts to tackle AIDS. The Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial Fund was initially established to receive numerous of public contributions from activities like sales of Elton John's commemorative rendition of his song Candle in the Wind, which he performed at Diana's funeral in September 1997. The Royal Foundation's accounts also featured the return of Amy Picarillo, who worked for Harry and Meghan until May 2019. In April of this year, she enrolled in the Royal Foundation as the director of the Duke of Cambridge's environmental venture, the Earthshot Prize London 2021. Ms. Pickerill began working for the royal family at Kensington Palace as a press spokesperson. She was originally instrumental in helping the Duchess adjust to her new life in the UK, a source told People at the time. She also became involved in the fundraising Together cookbook and the Smart Works project. Some months after leaving the palace, she was back to help the Duchess of Sussex as she released the Smart Works capsule collection in September. Harry and Meghan recently joined a video call to the Queen's Commonwealth Trust where they spoke about issues arising from the Black Lives Matter movement. Chris Ann Jarrett, co-founder of We Belong, which is led by young people who migrated to the UK, and Alicia Wallace, director of Equality Bahamas, discussed the issues with the royal couple. Prince Harry told them, when you look across the Commonwealth, there is no way that we can move forward unless we acknowledge the past. So many people have done such an incredible job of acknowledging the past and trying to right those wrongs, but I think we all acknowledge there is so much more still to do. It's not going to be easy and in some cases it's not going to be comfortable, but it needs to be done, because, guess what, everybody benefits.